G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is another episode of Caro Cash Collects where I'm noodling another five rolls of $2 coins and check it out. We already have a commemorative, so let's get into it. All right, so yeah, so no matter what, we found one and I love when this happens. So these are, just so you know, the last of the first initial lot of rolls, okay? so. This is the last. I wish I had got so many more rolls because these have been so lucky. Um, but I will be getting more and hopefully we can continue that luck. But I have, like I mentioned, I've received quite a few rolls in the past and not gotten much, let me tell you. So of course we'll end with the commemorative last just in case the other four produce nada. But before I get into it, of course, Pepsi cheers. Mm. And I hope you guys are having a really good Wednesday. This one was a bit odd to me actually, because as you can see, it's kind of coming, it's a little bit coming off. So if there is a red poppy in here, it's genuine, okay? I promise this is not being tampered with by me. Um, I always feel like I need to say that just in case, but the others are all very, very tightly sealed. This was the only one that was a little bit loose. Um, I'm sure there's nothing to it other than uh, it just being a bit loose. But, you know, you just never know with these things. So, yeah, as we're, as I mentioned in all the other videos, we are looking for commemorative coins, uh, preferably coloured. But there are a couple coins that aren't coloured that I still collect, which, of course, is the gold poppy, the Invictus games and the changeover. So they all have certain designs on them. Uh, but they're not color, but they're a commemorative coin. So that is what we're looking for. Ideally, the red poppy. Great if we could get a uh, purple coronation. That's my favorite coin. Do love the red poppy, don't get me wrong, but my favorite is just the purple in that uh, red, sorry, purple coronation coin is so stunning. All right, roll numero dos. Been trying to learn Spanish a bit more, by the way. Anyone uh, speak Spanish? Uh, my mum is from South America. I've mentioned that, and she never taught us kids Spanish, unfortunately, uh, because my father didn't speak it, so she didn't want us speaking a language my father couldn't understand. Um, don't worry, we all give her a bit of slack for that. <laughs> uh, my brother and I, we constantly say, "I wish you just taught us," because how good would it any learning any other language being multilingual is an awesome thing so if uh you're able to teach your kids a secondary language it's an awesome thing so that is one of my goals this year is to perf Ooh, just checking because right. it's a 2019 but it's a uh, irb portrait not the jody clark portrait which we're after because they are low minted See what I mean? These first two coins haven't really produced much. Oh, I'm telling you, I say something and then, <laughs> and then it happens. It happens. I've just got to start complaining more. <laughs> but I was going to sell 2019 and shiny too, but it is unfortunately the IRB and there's millions of these coins. You're wanting... Oh, <laughs> I was complaining about it. That's a nice find. That is a nice find. Double bunger. Okay, so <laughs> here I was thinking it was just the standard IRB uh, 2019 portrait, but it's actually the 100 uh, Years of Repatriation, which is a stunning coin. This is another one of my favorites because I like how they've got the red and the black and then the shield in the middle. Gorgeous coin. And then this one that we found earlier in the roll is the $2 Wallabies Australia coin. Now, this isn't in the best condition. Like, there seems to be like a matte kind of... See how this is shiny? I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't... There's like something over it that's making it not shiny. <laughs> but I will take it nonetheless. Great find. Great find. That was a good little surprise. Yes. <laughs> Actually, Pepsi cheers, eh? I have to Pepsi cheers more in these videos. So, where was I? I can't even remember what I was talking about before that, but I do love, and I've mentioned this in every video, I do love that you guys are really enjoying these videos. And the general consensus is that there's just not enough of them, and I don't noodle enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
um, but oh that's a nice new shiny 2022 coin um, but the reason why I only do 250 at a time is because I try and get out about a thousand dollars every time I do that right so then I've got enough coins for four videos so I'm not going to the bank every week because I think you get flagged okay so if you're returning and doing coins and just taking out the same coin returning the same coin they kind of pick up on you as being a noodler and they can kind of put a strike against your account I don't know why they're making it so difficult but they are so that's why I try and keep it at 250 because then I'm going back basically once a month you know every five weeks or so um and then that way i'm not going to get flagged and i can continue doing these videos so that's what i say when people complain in the groups you know oh the bank striked and then you think how many coins were you taking out i was taking out 10k a week i'm like well you kind of did it to yourself so i don't want to be that person complaining that i've had a strike against my name but then taking out ten thousand dollars worth of coins <laughs> so if i keep it to a thousand um oh i thought that was a no nope. A standard 2019 if you keep it to about a thousand dollars every five weeks or so you don't get flagged you know you say you have a garage sale once a month <laughs> need two dollar coins unfortunately it's just the way it is especially commonwealth bank which is uh, the bank that i bank with uh, for these type of things they um they're cracking down on this because they're probably sick and tired of people returning two dollar coins but it's the only way you can noodle Unfortunately, I find cash tellers, like when you go to the shops, they're keeping the coins, which I'm not blaming. I would be doing exactly the same thing if I worked in retail. I would most definitely be checking the till. So here we are, we are into the final roll. And as you can see, we have the 75th peacekeeping coin. I do love that coin. It's a beautiful coin. Most commemorative coins to do with the war or that kind of thing. Remembrance Day. They all they're just such beautiful designs. Alright, so we'll start with what we know. So what we know is this coin here. And I'll hold that up at the end. But let's hope we can find something else in this roll. If not, we found three amazing, amazing coins. Please let me know as well if you've found any cool coins yourself. I do love hearing um, a few of you guys let me know when you find something. Love that. Make me jealous. Make me go, oh, I wish I found that. <laughs> let me know. Here's a 2021 coin. It's not going to be a commemorative though because remember I explained to you with these newer coins, it's going to have $2 at the bottom here. Oh, but look at that. We got a commemorative. It's a gold poppy from 2012. So it's not the red poppy, but it's a poppy. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it isn't the poppy you really want because uh, it is like almost 6 million of these have been minted. So it's not that rare. But in saying that, it's 2012. So now it is a 12 year old coin. So getting harder to find. Uh, funny fun fact is that a few people have thought they, if they colored in this red poppy here, that, you know, they could pass it as, you know, with nail polish or something, some type of enamel. They can think they can pass it off as a red poppy, but you can't. <laughs> and it's so obvious because the actual red poppy doesn't have, see how it's like embossed? So you can actually kind of feel the gold poppy the red poppy actually doesn't even have the embossing of it so it is this textured background and then it's actually just painted on with foil so you actually can't replicate a red poppy by just coloring this gold poppy good try though but you can't do it um, and then this one is the 75th anniversary of peacekeeping so you have the two doves either side beautiful and see what I mean about the two dollars underneath her bust um, versus the old way because this is obviously the 2019 this is irb this is jc jody clark portrait um and they've just done things a little bit different so there's all the four coins stoked with this uh repatriation coin i think that's a beautiful coin i'd have to say that's probably my favorite out of the bunch uh but let me know what your favorite is let me know if you found any coins yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video so take care happy wednesday and i'll see you in the next one bye for now bye